Hey there, Rippers. I hope you guys are all having a good day. I hope you're all safe, secure, uh, and happy, right? Uh, I hope you've all gone out and done your, your, uh, your civic duty as an American and voted. Whether you think it matters or not, it really does. And it is something that everybody, every American should be in that habit of doing. Because I can tell you this, doesn't matter what side you're on. Doesn't matter left or right, right? Because if you think it does, and uh, it makes you feel angry or hateful towards another person, that's not okay, and it's not right. And it's, it's not the way we were meant to be, to be quite honest with you. Um, and it's what got us where we're at. This division is killing not only our country, but it's killing the world. It's killing all of us. It's killing family relationships. It's killing relationships between spouses. It's killing relationships in time with, with your kids. Um, there's just all kinds of things that I see it doing. Myself included, I'm being affected by this as well. Um, don't don't let division and and uh, hatred and and anger and fear and shame and all of those guilt negative things that affect us all. Uh, don't let them control your lives. Don't let them get you lost. Uh, keep you in a hole, right? Um, don't let them make you withdraw from people who matter. Because one hard lesson I'm learning, uh, and I needed to learn it, um, it is, uh, uh, you know, because we all have choices. And, uh, but I understand what it's like to be lost and not know what to do or you feel hopeless. Uh, and I also know what it's like to feel happy and uh, be successful. Um, but in the end, all that truly matters is your family, your spouse, your kids, and uh, your friends. Right? And even if everything went to shit, would you feel better with those people still there beside you or not? Right? I know for me, I would prefer those people to be with me. And uh, if you don't, listen to what I'm saying and you allow things to divide you and keep you from connecting with others and staying connected with others and not neglecting uh, your, your responsibilities as a friend, as a spouse, as a dad, as a mom, uh, all of those things, you could lose the most important things in your life. And I think what's happening in our country right now is an example of that. We're losing our country. We're losing connection with each other. Because if we stay divided and keep believing in this corrupt left, right, two party type system and let it fester inside of us and cause neglect, uh, cause you to withdraw, cause you to be angry at people that really are the most important people in your life, well then, we've got some hard road ahead. And I'm just telling you guys this, because if you're out there and you haven't voted yet, go out there and vote. And it doesn't matter who you vote for. Vote for whoever you think is best. That's the way it was meant to be. 
and you don't have to feel bad and don't be angry at somebody for not voting the way that you think they should vote or that you voted, right? Because we just all need to do our part and then at that point, love one another. Go have dinner. Sit down and talk. Um, have dinner together. Right? Enjoy a movie. Be present with your family on vacations, on uh, uh, out to dinner, uh, at a movie, at a birthday party. You know, all those things. Going out to the park. Be present. Enjoy all of those things. Like they're the most important thing in the world. Because the honest truth is, they are. And the people that... I think you could ask any side, left, right, liberal, conservative, they'll tell you that they're all corrupt. And a lot of them like to throw their hands up and go, there's nothing I can do about it. It's not my control, so why bother? Well, that's what got us here. And the why bother is what matters because what they truly wanted is to keep us divided like that, right? To destroy our families, destroy the love we have for one another, right? Uh, to have us so busy that we neglect each other or so desperate or or so scared or, or guilty or whatever that we don't stay connected with one another. The biggest thing they feared was family and our faith. And that's what this is all designed to do. And sadly, I too fell victim to that. And it will probably be one of the biggest regrets in my life. And I don't want it to be a regret for any of you. Uh, because you guys are great people. You've been there. You've prayed for me when I was sick. Uh, you've prayed for me when I was hurt. And you also prayed for me when I was sad. And that is what's truly important, our relationships. You know, I had a saying told to me once that I really, really loved, and it was like, uh, how'd it go? Oh, yeah, life is about relationships and transformation. And I lost track of that. Uh, and because of that, it's costing me everything that is really important to me. You know, and I looked around at all the prepping stuff and guns and all those things. And those things are all fine. We should all have hobbies and things we enjoy doing. We really should. Um, but when you realize that you have neglected loved ones and... Uh, withdrawn and you know what most of the time you would have never been that way it isn't really who you are but it's who you've been made to be because of the way things are right uh you're fearful about whether or not you're going to be able to provide for your family you're fearful on whether or not you'll be able to recover from a, a loss or from a hurdle that you couldn't overcome uh, maybe you've been hit like me with hurdle after hurdle of things that really are out of your control and aren't your fault, but you didn't know how to get back on your feet again and get balanced and keep in touch with not only your family, but most importantly, yourself, to be happy with yourself, right? Right? to stay focused on what you needed to do to make yourself happy and healthy so that you can be happy and healthy and attentive for others, right? Um, those are all so important and really the only things that matter. The only thing that matters in the end. 
you know, I look at all these things and I'm glad and I'm thankful that I'm prepared to survive whatever emergency or or thrive through whatever emergency may happen, whether it's a natural disaster or a, uh, a, a man-made disaster or war or whatever it may be, the grid going down, all those kind of things. That's important. We should all be more self-sufficient. I believe we would all be more happy and we wouldn't be as miserable and as, and as lonely as we are if we still lived like our great grandparents used to, where the major focus wasn't TV, the internet, uh, you know, uh, your email, your Twitter this and X that and, and uh, Telegram, Facebook, every, everybody is just plugged into their machines, myself included. And uh, in the end, it will end up costing all of us what's important. And our great-grandparents didn't do that. Their main focus was survival, putting things back for harder times, and enjoying each other at the end of a day, or working together during the day. You know, that's something that they've made us believe too is, is that working for family isn't a good thing or it's 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 not good to do or it's too hard or can't be done well that's not true if you love each other it surely can even if there's disagreements even with friendships if there's disagreements we should be able to talk about them and overcome them so you know if we lived more like that and worked together with our first family, then our neighbors, then our community, and stayed connected with that, helping one another, we'd be so much better off. I have to believe. I, I don't think any of us would have near as many of the hard times as we have, or lose as much as I have. So that being said, uh, we need to get back to that. We need to get back in touch with that. We need to keep ourselves healthy. And who knows? Maybe you can rebuild those relationships. I like to hope so. Because regret is a hard thing. And I don't want anybody to regret anything. I think we all need to come together as a people, as family members, as spouses, as mothers and fathers, and get back to the way things were. We have to unplug. We have to, most importantly, not neglect the people we love. Because if not, then you're going to be where I'm at and uh, praying for a miracle. Not only for, or an angel on our shoulder, not only for myself, but for the whole entire world. For our country. For my friends. And just hoping for a miracle. It's a, it's a hard video. And uh, I hope it, I hope it connects well with you guys. I really do. And I hope you share it. Uh, you know, I guess the major thing I'm getting at is, is go out there and vote together, right or left, right? But most of all, connect with each other for what we do all want, and that is a better, happier country and world. We want security for everyone, 
for our citizens, for the world's citizens, right? I think it's okay that we can be conservative and a little liberal when it comes to certain things. I think in order to get solutions, we're going to need to be that way. We're going to need to be able to say, look, we need conservative values and we need to be able to use common sense. But at the same time, we need to have some liberalness in our heart to be connected with each with others that are in need and help those others and get out there in the community with your loved ones, with your spouses, kids, whatever, and and make sure that everybody knows that you care about them, that they're cared for, that they're loved. And that they're the most important things in the world. Because mark my words, if you don't, you'll lose those things. And you'll feel lost and sad and alone. And that's a feeling that nobody should have. I don't know why we do in this world. Because it's right there in front of us. The things that are important to us, we're born into our family. And then we make relationships with our friends and in our community. And we all have the choice to do the right thing. And sometimes the right thing may be a left-leaning thing, right? It also may be a conservative thing. Because the people that are against us, that don't care about us, and that make us say things like, it doesn't matter, they're all corrupt. Well, those are the people that are our enemy. It isn't everybody on the left and everybody on the right. It's the evil ones that are in between, that know the game they're playing, designed it, and enjoy playing it, which is sick. It really is. Because I know that there are people in my family that are more liberal than I am and maybe even more conservative. And I think it's kept us from seeing and giving the love that we all need. So in closing, I just wanted to tell you guys, don't give up, get out there, keep doing the things, uh, keep staying positive, focus on your family first, then your friends, then your community, and then your country. Always think of things of what makes sense, what's common sense, have compassion and empathy for those that are suffering and uh, help those you can help when you can. Sometimes that can just be smiling at somebody that seems, that feels like they're not seen and telling them that you see them and you love them. Maybe even get them a meal or in your own family, look at your spouse and say, Hey, I love you and I see you and I hear you. And, uh, even though I may not be perfect all the time, I, uh, I don't love you any less. And you should tell me when I'm wrong. And, uh, really, really make me listen, right? And you should listen because that's the person right there that's most important. The person that's telling you that, right? So don't let all this garbage divide us anymore. Don't let all this stuff, these games they play, all of that kind of stuff cloud us, get us distracted, keep us in front of our machines and instead connect with each other. Turn those things off. 
I can only hope and pray that I can make things right again. And someday have the opportunity to maybe earn back and show that I'm worthy of what I neglected. And what I've lost. And that I'm deeply regretful and I take responsibility for all of it because I have to take responsibility for myself. We all do. We all do. And uh, if we all did that and stayed on top of the things we should, and, and here's a big one, ask for help when you need it. You know, I've been told that so many times recently that I'm not a bad person that I'm a good guy and uh, that I help a lot of people. But that means nothing if you can't stay focused on yourself and the people that matter to you, right? Spend so much time thinking of other people or trying to be that good guy that I neglected the most important thing in front of me and didn't listen to her feelings or their feelings, uh, didn't listen to their thoughts, wishes, desires, fears, everything like that, right? And you know, the funny thing is, those are the most enjoyable times that I can remember. It's just hearing about your loved one's days at the end of the day. And now that's all gone. Right? Don't forget that those are the important times that make you smile. Right? That really matter. Because the opposite result is, is just to be alone. And nobody deserves to be alone. So you guys get out there, finish your voting, right? Be happy for whatever the, 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 the turnout is, right? Whatever the end result is, right? Try to look at everything with an open heart and an open mind and be able to talk with each other and be able to listen to each other. And uh, I think we'll all be better off if we did that. Ignore the negative, the hate, the things that get you distracted and cost you everything. Get to work, right? Do the things you need to do. And I think we'll, we'll all be better off in the end, right? Uh, so I hope you all have a good rest of your election night. I hope it goes whichever way you wanted it to go. And I hope whichever way it goes, that it was the best way. That's the, the, the prayers I've been saying, have been praying for our country, for our people, that God let what happens be the best for our country, our people, the world, everything like that, you know, because uh, that's really what matters. And if not, then be proactive about making change in that. You know, if I had my shit together, I'd probably be running for some sort of office, be making a difference, showing the people that love me that I have a direction and a heart. And, uh, all the good things that we should have inside of us. Maybe I'll be able to get there again. I don't know. I'm pretty old. Uh, I think for me, I'm thankful for what I did have and all the good times and memories. But 
I am uh, also thankful for my kids and the experiences that I've had. And I'm surely deeply sorry for my failures. Um, but I'm 53, I think, now. And uh, at this point, I, uh, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. It's time for me just to focus on me, I guess, and pray and hope uh, for a good outcome. And uh, being able to repair some of the bad decisions that I made. Uh, even at that, I would be happy if everybody was happy. Till next time, stay safe, be secure, always be aware of your surroundings. Get out there and vote, because it really matters. And until next time, adios and aloha.